Hey, this is Dan at Bad Videos, and today I'm having a go at Mountain Blade 2. Bannerlord. Here we go. So graphically, this game is far more pleasing than the first game. So once we dive into this thing, you've got a fair few options. You can choose a Vlandians, Sturgians, Empire, Asari, Kuzates, and Batanians. Best attempt at pronouncing all of those. So once you've chosen these things, you get the classic character creator, and this one's actually really good for us. Various skin colors, heights, differences, weights, obviously male or female. Uh, you can create some really interesting people. Look at this one. It's totally Nick Cage from Con Air. Oh yeah. So once you've done all your basic editing, you can choose in, weirdly, your family, a whole bunch of history, going from childhood all the way up to adulthood. Uh, once you've done that, it kind of like, Categorizes it to see which weapon choices you'll have, uh, what your specialities will be. So you meet your brother, there it is, hiya, and off you go. Um, so we'll say straight away, I'm not one to do tutorials, uh, hence why I suck so bad at this, as you're about to find out. Uh, I made a slivering kind of member, I'm going with uh, early age. So uh, once we're in, here we go, uh, yeah, it's kind of point and click to begin with, at least uh, for controlling directions. The uh, first thing that happened to me is I was cropping along and uh, some little looter is like, I can, no problem, I've got this, I can deck him. Didn't look at the numbers next to him, as you can see, there's a five, which means there's five of the bad boys. I was like, oh crap. And you know, I'm, I'm pretty good at these uh, sword fighting ass games, so in I go. Chop, you chop, as you can see, you know, just mashing buttons, obviously, no tutorial. He was thinking I could, uh, I could definitely deck him on horseback, so I thought, you know, let's just press some buttons. You got uh, first person view, yeah, that didn't help at all. Yeah, totally missed him. And then uh, decided then to press a few more buttons, just slapping and hoping. Uh, Realised you can change weapons for what spears, here we go, this is the way forward. Dabby's dab, you know, the classic moves, as you can see, there's lots of blood, and wham! Yeah, they absolutely beat the crap out of me, and uh, yeah, that was my first fight, so it wasn't very good. I totally lost that battle, oh uh, yeah. Uh, gives you some stats, so uh, basically you're a loser. And then I was captured, and some painful days of being dragged about as a prisoner. Uh, eventually paid them off because I had some hidden money apparently don't know why they didn't find it you know hidden in the uh, magic places on your body as you know <laughs> yeah boy uh, so then I decided then what I needed was some troops so went to the first village I could find and bought myself some people you know now that's it I'm invulnerable now as I thought so I'll have a little explore of the village uh, and you can see graphically very very good uh, had a little uh, hunt over this guy found this guy decided to speak to him didn't really get anywhere. Now, it doesn't really indicate who does what. You can press uh, one of the back buttons and it kind of indicates that this item will do something or this item won't do something. Had a little sit down, pondered my uh, existence and thought, right, that's it, we need to really need to improve our game. So uh, let's try and find something to do. So uh, as you can tell, holding on that back button gives me a man with a mission. So I uh, had a little talk to this guy and he was like, oh, please help us. We're starving, we need crops, etc, etc. As you're about to see, there we go, he's asking for him. I was like, what can I do? Can I, should I help him? And I thought, I will see, I'll find some seeds for you fella. So uh, off I went. Uh, I saw another bandit guy and thought, well, you know what, I've got five members now. So maybe I can kill him. So uh, hunt down and get the good old classic revenge. Here we go. So I, this time I thought the, I'd let the computer do the fighting for me, and uh, totally won. So that's the tip, main tip for me. Let the computer do the work. Got some loot off him. You know, game's going well for me for once. I uh, thought I'd go in and have a look and see what's like in one of these castles. Maybe I could own one one day. A uh, little look around. It's kind of, you know, it's fancy. You can't really do a lot in them. I talk to some guards, and then, uh, then this guy, Tedious, if that's how you say his name. And uh, he basically was like, I'll, you know, I'll help you out if you bribe me with some money. I was like, you know what, I've only got like a small amount. Couldn't really fathom what was happening with it, so I gave up. And um, went and jumped on his bed instead. You know, like this, take some of that scumbag, Dennis, whatever your name was. Uh, went back outside and a little look around again. Very good graphics for, uh, for what it is. Not the best, but it's all right. Uh, this guy didn't have any prisoners. I was planning on, uh, you know, stealing him. Didn't think I was going to beat him in a fight or nothing, but, you know, he might give him And then off we went. And uh, this guy comes along then, on my next bit of a journey. And he was like, you know what, I'm a caravan master, yeah, yeah. You wanna, I'll tell you what, I'll give you a tip. And he sold me a tip. Uh, I realised that I can buy some grain from, uh, whatever that place was called, Zeneca. 
and then sell it on for, for more money just down the road. So, you know, good plan, right? Let's go ahead. So I went to go and do that. Uh, on the way, here we go. Into Zeneca. I can't even say it properly. And uh, thought I'd just go and see what else. Could I, could I buy anything better weapon-wise? And uh, some gang member was like, hey, come meet up with us. I got something, I got some thing, a mission for you. So I was like, you know what? Sod it, let's do it. So uh, she'd never heard of me, obviously. So I was like, well, you know, let's make a name for myself. So uh, in we go. We joined up with her and I'll find some recruits for her. And she, she would pretty be happy about that. So uh, once we'd done the old Zanica mission, I thought we'd have a little bit more of an explore around the place. Uh, just wanted to make sure she knew who I was first. Yeah. Hello. Oh, all right. There we go. Off we go. I had a little look around the market, see if there's any weapons and stuff. Nothing nothing really piqued my interest in this place, as you can see. It's, well, one, it's very dark. I mean, they didn't have electricity and stuff, did they? And uh, they didn't really have any weapons, bar. well, he had some, but nothing much better than what I had. So I was like, you know what? Oh, I could keep my money, pal. It's probably going to work out better for me. Uh, nice haircut, by the way, too. Uh, had a little look around the village, and again, you know, nothing really, uh, nothing really to write home about. It's just a medieval village. Very well portrayed, though, I will say that. So what I figured I'd do is maybe I'll make a little mini-series out of this. I mean, I suck ass at these kind of games. I really enjoy them, but I'm not very good at it. So, uh, from the village, what we'll do is we'll continue our quest in the next episode. So, if you enjoyed this one, which you more than certainly won't do, because there's far more interesting people to watch than me out there, uh, subscribe to the channel, because we're at, like, pretty much 700 now. Not bad at all. Uh, if you're happy and you like it, then whack a like in the, uh, in the like button. And comment in the comment section for us as well. We really appreciate it. Whether, I mean, particularly tips. I need tips and tricks for this game. And let's not go on the, you need to read the tutorial wagon because I hate tutorials. I just want some guidance. What's the best sort of technique for it? Is it let the computer do the fighting for you? I'm not really sure. I mean, it seemed to work out for me, but you know, fire away in the comment section for us. We'll see you next time at Bad Videos. Bye-bye.